hear the term fire engine and fire truck, and the difference between a fire engine and a fire truck is basically tools and ladders are found on the fire truck, water and hose are found on the fire engine. The passenger compartment on the rig is called a cab. The personnel sit in the cab, seat belted in for safety. So this is the driver's side of the truck. The driver's going to turn the batteries on before you can get in the rig. And you'll see that the radio goes on, the regular safety lights go on. You climb up into the cab and start the ignition. And we don't use a key in any of the fire rigs. Most of them are push button. And we'll start right up. Then once we're ready to respond, throw your seatbelt on, and you can throw the emergency lights on. If you look down here, that's the siren, and then we have the air horn. Should we ever not be able to use those. We have an electronic siren over here that we can use. We have a backup camera. All our radios are up here. All our controls. here, extend and lower the outriggers so we can level the truck and get it stable. We have four outriggers, a mid outrigger and a rear on both sides of the truck. And the span when they're out is approximately 18 feet. And then once we've done that and we have it level and stable, then we switch it over to aerial and that'll allow us to operate the ladder. ladder to access upper floors in a building. Maybe fire's cutting off your normal pathway. You can affect a rescue on a ladder. Basically, to access any elevation that your ground ladders can. All right, we're all the way raised. And we're at 95 feet. And on a windy day, you can feel it up in the bucket. On occasion, we use the ladder to put water on a fire and get water to a higher elevation. If you look at this long pipe, it goes all the way back. The engine will feed water into the back of the truck. It'll come all the way up the pipe, and then we can operate the nozzle with these controls and spray water on it. We use the bucket for access to elevated portions of a building to make a rescue. Roughly operate about five to six stories, depending on how close you are to the structure. 